Okay, Chris, come on. Help me with this, brother. We'll bring this over here. Let's get that out of there. Yep. Nice. You want to hold that in place for me? Champion. Bit of water. Very, very nice. Oh, friends, I have to tell you, there is something incredibly satisfying about planting a tree. Great fun. And I'm looking at this tree and I'm hoping and believing that it will grow beautiful roots and turn into a fantastic tree that we can celebrate here at Sunbury Court. I'm hoping that one day this tree will look like this one over here. I mean, come and have a look at this. Look at this magnificent tree. That is a phenomenal tree. Look at the leaves and the branches. If that tree could talk, wow. <laughs> I'm imagining to myself about the root system that's sustaining that tree. I mean, it's not just standing there, it's there because underneath the ground, there's this amazing network of roots that are feeding and supporting and helping this tree to flourish. And it's a beautiful, magnificent thing to enjoy for sure. I'm reminded of the fact that the Psalmist in the very first Psalm likened the man of faith or the woman of faith to a tree planted by streams of water whose leaves do not wither, uh, who prospers, and who is fruitful. The man and woman of God, like a tree planted by a stream of water. And I'm thinking about the fact that if we are to be that in the world, then we too need a root system that supports that flourishing. And when I think about the root system of the Christian journey and the Christian faith, I think about things like our prayer life, our reading of the word and applying it to our daily lives. I'm thinking about our worship and our fellowship. I'm thinking about our fasting. Uh, I'm thinking about our service to others. And I'm thinking to myself, all of these things are the components, the nutrients, the, the roots that enable us to flourish and make an impact in the world for the kingdom of God. So I'm praying for you this week that you will intentionally invest in the root system of your faith, giving yourselves intentionally to prayer and the reading of the word, to fellowship, to service, so that, uh, so that you will flourish, that there will be fruit from your life, that God would be glorified and that the kingdom would be extended. I'm praying that that would be so. May God bless you.